This show has been brought to you by Lucas Oil Products, made in America, sold to the world. And by Canada All Natural Pet Foods. This is the exciting finale of the seventh annual Lucas Oil Knoxville Dirt Late Model Nationals. Billy Moyer just sneaking that thing. <laughs> Designed for sprint cars, by the way. <laughs> He snuck that third late model right on through there. And boy, what an incredible weekend he has had here. Friday night's winner, Thursday night's winner, Saturday night's winner now. It has been quite a run, to say the least. Climbing out of the car, and it looks like Tony Bachoven will be down there to cover all the action. Yes, sir, stand on the roof. You deserve it, my friend. Billy, you have done something no one has done in the history of this race. You won both qualifying nights and the 100 lap feature. Congratulations. Thank you. It uh, what a deal. I, uh, I mean, we won the first two nights, and uh, the odds were kind of stacked against you for tonight. And I, uh, it just all come together, man. That the track is just, uh, just awesome. You know, it, uh, it's so much fun to, to, to race here. We, uh, the car was was uh, was on when it needed to be on. You know, I was a little concerned in the first ten laps, but I was just kind of biding my time there, and things come to me like I thought it would, and. Uh, just can't say enough about all my sponsors on this car, man. I can't do it without them. Uh, everyone on here, all the product people from, uh, you know, the shocks, Red Lion Oil, and Hoosier Tires, and on and on and on. Uh, I just, uh, I can't say enough about all them guys. And, and uh, you know, it's just, I don't know, I'm flabbergasted. I finally got this thing. <laughs> Tell us about the fuel stop. It's never happened before in this race. They bring out a fuel stop. What were your thoughts then, and were you concerned about your tires midway through the race? Well, the tires here, I, um, like I said there earlier today, I think everybody, they got a two-tire rule here only, really, so I thought everybody's going to be on the same stuff, just kind of a little magic on how you might groove them or sipe them, and um, this place usually doesn't wear them real bad, you know, you just got to keep from glazing them, and the less you spin them, the better chance you have of not glazing them, and I just, that's why I just try to be careful and keep it underneath me. I just, uh, so many yellows, so many yellows, I didn't think they were going to get over, but the car was, uh, was, was really good. Well, let me be the first to congratulate you on this big win. Billy Moyer picks up the trifecta here at Knoxville. Yeah, yeah. Great interview, of course. Always great to hear from Billy Moyer. We certainly look forward to him the rest of this season. Not a whole lot left, but, man, the streak that he's on, I'm sure will continue. It will go down in history, at least in his career, as to be one of the best of all times. 24 wins standing right now, and, of course, he could increase on that. So congrats to him on another big win here in 2010. Let's recap this race and show you what happened at the very beginning. Scott Bloomquist got off to an early lead and would hang on to that for a little bit, but then Mr. Smooth stepped on the throttle. Yeah, once Mr. Smooth, Billy Moyer, got by Bloomquist, he pretty much put the right foot up on the dash, put it in overdrive, and he kind of checked out. There was a lot of racing going on behind him for second, third. We saw guys like Darryl Landigan show some light there, middle portion of the races. We saw uh, Jimmy Mars race to the front from the B main, then he had issues, came in, made a change, came back out and raced his way back up to the front so a lot of guys will bought shannon babb also in the 18 car made his way to the front so a lot of cars working up to the front and that was really the the show here tonight at knoxville we saw moyer kind of check out but the guys that came from the back to the front a lot of good racing there in the middle portions of this track that was the fan stream out of here don't go away we're going to go down and talk to the man that finished in second place after starting in 11th josh richards Josh Richards, well-deserved second place here. I know this didn't, wasn't what you come to Knoxville for, but last night it was very close with Billy. Tonight you were chasing him again. What could you have done differently to your car if we could start over to make it a little different? Uh, we, we'd make a few minor changes. I mean, I, I feel like we had a phenomenal car in the, in the race. I mean, to be able to come up through there, you know, we were really good in the bottom early. Then once the bottom went away, um, you know, I, I moved up to the top late, but Billy... <laughs> Billy was just so good, you know, he, uh, there at the end, I thought we might have something for him. I started to charge a little bit, and, uh, you know, he, I could maintain with him, and then, you know, the last 15, 20 laps, he just, you know, he just pulled away. He, uh, you know, he, he's been, he's been rolling this year, and uh, we're trying to catch him, but uh, we definitely, you know, we're definitely getting closer, and uh, I'd like to thank my guys for, uh, for giving me a great car and all my sponsors, and uh, hopefully we can come back and get it next year. I was surprised to see that I'll fuel stop, are. although we had so many yellows early on. Did it change the cars I in any way at all? Uh, not really. We added, you know, we added a little bit of fuel, but I don't think it really hurt anything. If anything, it helped it for the end, so we didn't, so we weren't too light on the rear wheels. And uh, you know, we we weren't bad. We just needed just a little bit. But uh, you know, if we could go back and do it, you know, we we'd make some changes. But uh, you know, Billy did a great job, and uh, you know, it's uh, I'll try again. 
Well, they say you got to finish second out here before you can win, and uh, you've got that out of the way. We look forward to having you come back next year. Congratulations on a good run. All right, thank you. And once again, a lot of exciting action as we anticipated, Rob. Oh, absolutely. We saw some great racing, some unfortunate issues on the racetrack, but when it was all said and done, it was all about Mr. Smooth Billy Moyer pulls off the sweep here in Knoxville. Onboard cameras provided by GoPro. This telecast has been produced by Lucas Oil Studios in association with Speed. For Tony Bachoven, Dave Argerbright, and Rob Klepper, I'm Ken Stout. Get the broom out, my friend. You pulled it off. We'll see you next time here in Knoxville.